Hello and welcome to the Scientific Adventures of Beardman. Today we're going to be taking a look at a concept builder on physicsclassroom.com under the topic electric circuits. The title of this is Parallel Circuits Ohm's Law Calculations. Um, today we're going to be looking at parallel circuits. I just did a video on series circuits and so I'll refer to that several times. I'll link it uh, here. Well, I'll link it just a little bit later when it's extremely permanent. Um, Voltage is the same everywhere in a parallel circuit, remember, because the battery increases the energy each charge has, which we call the voltage. Um, as those electrons go around, they, we, they don't lose much going through wire, and so we pretend like they don't use, lose anything and lose any energy, and they lose all their energy going across the bulb, and then they go back. So they only go through one thing, so they gain it and they lose it. They lose it all in e whichever one they go through they lose all their their energy all their voltage um, and uh, so therefore the voltage across each of these is the same as the voltage across the battery uh, the current however will split up remember whatever current goes through here some of it will go that way but some will go that way and when it gets here some will go that way and some will go that way so our current is going to split up we'll look at that in more detail in the sample problems if you want to calculate the equivalent resistance of these, you'd need to use a formula like this. We're going to avoid doing that in this problem. In these problems, the way it's set up, it's here to design to help you understand the current and the calculations in various places, but this is not a calculation you will need to do. Um, you could do it for some problems, but we won't step you through that. Um, here is Ohm's law. And I have divided both sides by R to solve for I here. And I've divided both sides by I to solve for R here. First sample problem, the apprentice level is exactly like what you see in the series circuit. So I'll, you'll see up in the top corner somewhere up in this region up here, you'll see the link to be able to uh, go take a look at the series circuit video, which will step you through the apprentice level, which is the same for both of the two concept builders. So what's different? Here's the master level. You see now instead of having a series circuit over here, we have a parallel circuit. The electrons, the charge, the current, however you want to say that, will make a choice as it travels through these wires. Okay, so we're going to do a couple of um, a couple of uh, rows of our table here to uh, give you enough to help you make sure you know how to calculate. Okay, all right. So uh, before we start doing any calculations, let's talk about what's going on with the current here. So as the current comes out of the battery, that's gonna be the, the biggest current. All the current's gonna go through the battery. But at this point right here, the current's gonna split and some of it will go that way and some of it will go this way. We can call the stuff that goes this way B, and we'll call the stuff that goes this way C, because this goes through B and that goes through C. So A had to be enough to go through B and C. Okay, keep in mind, we're talking about the current here. So you could say IB and IC. Okay, so the current has to all split up there. And then when it comes back down here, it's all gonna get together again to go through D. So D and A will be the same and they will be B plus C. Okay, so let's go ahead and, and get into this. Uh, the next thing that we need to know is we, need, we have three different ways we could use Ohm's law. We could use Ohm's law kind of in the battery, kind of in A and D in the battery over here, where we have uh, kind of the total of the whole thing. We can use Ohm's law through resistor one, or we could use Ohm's law through resistor two, but we have to be sure if we're using resistor one, we're using the current through B. And if we're using resistor two, we use the current through C. Okay, let's get into that. So um, in problem number one here, we see we're given the voltage. Remember the voltage will be the same for resistor one and resistor two as it is for the battery because each uh, time the current passes through the circuit, it goes through only one light bulb, one of those pathways. So we'll take, we'll start with resistor one, just because uh, it's one, <laughs> why not start with one? Um, so voltage and resistor one, that's gonna allow us to calculate the current through resistor one, which remember is the current through B. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Um, so we have, uh, let's see, we're solving for current. So I equals V over R. And in particular, V, we can just leave as V, but we want to put R1 and we want to say I B. Okay, so that means that's because we're dealing with this right here, R1 and the current through B. Okay, and so that will give us 36. That is the ugliest three. Okay, there we go. 36 volts divided by 12 ohms. And 36 divided by 12 will give us 3 amps. All right, now let's do the same thing for our second branch here, C and R2. So 36 divided by 9 is going to give us... 4 amps. Okay, and so then uh, when we want to figure out the current through A and D, remember that's just B and C added up. Here, they're A, B and C are combining to get to D. Here, A is splitting up to form B and C, but either way, it's just the two added together. So 3 plus 4 is 7 amps. 7 amps. All right, and so the next several problems are all like that. Um, uh, looks like I created a bad problem, but I'm not planning on doing this one, so that's why I did. Oh, no, never mind. I, it's fine. Um, so there's a couple here that gave you extra information, okay? And so you can go through and you can find these two, and you should find that these two add up to give you this. You should find out that these two add up to give you this. Okay, let's get down here because we don't have resistor 2. So we're going to have to work a little bit backwards, but that's not going to be a problem. So here we have uh, resistor 1. So we'll do our same process here with uh, the voltage divided by resistor 1. Um, 48 divided by 16 gives you 3. And so... Uh, since that was resistor 1, that means that's current B. And so current B is 3 amps. Okay, we can finish off our currents here since we know B plus C gives us D. So 3 plus 12 gives us, um, gives us 15. And I just realized I've been making a mistake. It gives us amps up here, so we shouldn't be doubling up on that. You should not have amps down here because you don't want to have amp amps. That doesn't make sense. Okay, and this would be 15 amps. Okay, so then how do we find resistor 2? Well, we're just going to work backwards here. Resistor 2, we're trying to find this. Well, we know the current in C. So if we have the voltage and the current in C, we know two of our three things in Ohm's law. So we're going to be looking for the resistance, the resistance in 2 is going to equal the voltage divided by the current in C. Okay, so we take 48 divided by 12, and we get 4 ohms of resistance. All right, let's move on to the mass the wizard level. Okay, so we'll do a couple of problems here um, to make sure we understand the concept. So let's go ahead and start with number one. Oh, let's just take a look at our, our circuit over here. So once again, we see we got a parallel circuit. This time we got three branches. So keep in mind as the current goes through A, some will go through B and some will head towards C and D. And then some of that will go towards C and the rest will go towards D. And here's where it gets a little bit tricky because we have E here. So we see that that is going to be C and D combined whereas A is going to be B, C, and D combined. So once again, E is C and D combined. Let's write this so we don't forget. So E is C plus D, and A is B plus C plus D. Okay? All righty. So let's go ahead and get into it. Let's start with number one here. Okay. Oh, by the way, also notice that we're only given the resistance of resistor number one. We may need to find one of these other resistances as we go along, 
or maybe we'll uh, do just fine without it. Actually, I think we'll always do just fine without it um, based on what was given you. But you could figure them out if you wanted to. It's just there's only so much room in the table. Okay, at least that's my assumption for why it looks like this. Um, okay, so we have resistor two. That's gonna allow us to calculate the current in C. So let's go ahead and just do that. Um, just a quick reminder, current in C is gonna be the voltage divided by the resistance in two. Okay, so in this case, that's gonna be 36 divided by 12. That's gonna give us three. So the current in, in C is three amps, okay? Well, we know that C plus D, C plus D is gonna give us the current in E. So that's three plus three. So that's gonna give us six. And we know the current in A is all of them added together, okay? But notice that C plus D is E. So we could also look for B plus E. Okay, since C and D is the same as the current in E, if we uh, know that B plus E, okay, so nine equals these three added together or this plus this. It's the same thing, whichever way you prefer to think of it. So nine equals three plus three, that's six. What's left over? Another three. And we'll look at that. They're all three. So we've got a, a system set up where we've got three plus three plus three equals nine, and we've got three plus three equals six. All right, let's take a look at another problem. Let's go down to number four, because that's our first one where we have to calculate the voltage. So remember the voltage equals I times R, but we have to be careful we use an I and R that are appropriate. We can use I through C and R2, or we could use the whole battery and A. Okay, let's see what we've got. We've got R2 and we got C. Well, that seems like a good way to do it. Um, uh, actually, we don't have the equivalent resistance of the whole thing, so we couldn't use the battery in A. So our only way to calculate the voltage in this particular problem is through C and R2, which we have, R2 and C. So what's our equation? So we have to do I through C and R2 and IC is two times R2 is 18. Two times 18 gives us 36, okay? Then we can go through and use all our currents and how they're traveling together. We see C plus D gives us five, okay? Once again, because everything going through C and everything going through D all go through E. And we, now we have to find B. How much is in this? Well, um, we add our three together here. So three plus two is five. Five plus something gives us 15. Five plus 10 gives us 15. All right, and let's do one more where we solve for R2 since we haven't done that on this slide yet. So let's go ahead and solve for R2 here, okay, in number five. So first of all, we see that going through E, there's gonna be 20 amps. We see 12 of those amps came from D. That means eight of them had to come from C. Once again, if there were 20 amps going through, th oh, sorry, 20 amps going through E, and 12 amps of those came from D, the other eight had to come from C. Eight plus 12 gives us 20. All right, so now we can use our equation. We're looking for resistance of two, um, and that's because this was blank. And so R2 equals V over IC is the current through C is going through a resistance of two with a voltage of 30, of 48, okay? So we take 48, we divide by eight, and we get six ohms of resistance. And then finally, to finish this off, uh, we know 24 is these three added together because A, the current through A splits to B, C, and D, and so 
12 plus 8 gives us 20, and we have to get to 24. So that means this has to be 4 amps. So 12 plus 8 plus 4 gives you 24. All right, well, good luck puzzling through your tables and the numbers you've got there. Just keep in mind this current splits up going through here, but whatever voltage is in the battery is the same across all of these. Uh, don't forget to click that like and subscribe button. Leave me any questions you'd like in the comments, and I'll see you next time on the scientific adventures of Beardman.